pretty thing, or just watching where he puts his step back. Come on, hold your ground and fight back. But we saw these um, these two Impala rams, and they were massive, and they had locked horns. They, we couldn't even see the Impala because there was so much dust being kicked up. There we go. You might even be able to hear the clashing of the horns. Look at all that. That's incredible. Really, really uh, amazing to see them fight like this too. It's not often, and this is a this is a proper fight. This is not this is not them sparring. This is them saying right. Who is going to get this prime property up against the river line? It is a perfect spot. This is very interesting. And uh, it's it, it seems as though the boys, the testosterone is peaking at the moment. Um, they all started clashing heads, chasing each other around, making that gurgling uh, sound, that interesting sound that comes from an impala. They are not happy with one another at the moment. Let's see if they do it again. That's very cool. No! Are oh, they going to come out? It's just a small shrub. Hopefully they don't start fighting there. Keep keep pushing one another, please. A little, little bit further to the left. A little bit further to the left. Thank you, Impala. Let's see. We'll wait for them to do it once more. I'm sure they're going to clash horns again. There's quite a few females in the area. And they're obviously going after that. Come on, boys. There's lots of flies hanging around on them today as well. You can see those tails are still swishing. It's amazing how not only are they focused, obviously, on one another, but the tails still keep going to keep those insects at bay. I would really love to see a Sabi sand impala standing next to an impala ram of the Mara to be able to see how big they really are. Now, Starlight, you're wondering why they keep sticking out their tongues? A lot of animals do that when they're, they're fighting, and they do this sort of neck stretching as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly why the impalas do that, that sort of licking, whether it's um, showing an aggressive behavior. Um, and then they also do that neck rolling too so it's obviously it's all got to do with the obviously with the preparation of of a fight and having a scratch at the same time it's amazing how they can squeeze all the things let's see there we go that's what i was talking about that's the neck stretching perhaps that they're trying to assert dominance in a different way over one another come on boys one more clash of horns just one more they're tapping And this will go on for ages until one of them either gets injured and says, I'm out, or decides to completely become submissive and then run away. And he'll keep running because he'll be chased by the winner. There's no other big rams around. It's actually just them at the moment. And maybe they've been sizing each other up for quite some time. Look at them go. And this can be quite dangerous. You look how focused they are on one another. And there's some Thompson's gazelle at the back. You know, there could be a leopard, there could be a lion, there could be a cheetah, there could be anything lurking in the background. And they, they, every now and then they stop and look over their shoulder, but um, but not very much. Oh my goodness, and there's a Thompson's gazelle male chasing a female. It's all happening yet. <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. He's obviously quite excited about her. Run, girl. You can do it. Get away from him. 